guys, welcome back to level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. As you can see, this is basically Jurassic World Midlands. The lights are actually damaged, so it's pretty dark. So what we are going to do today is to pick up 50 of the latest dinosaur figurines from Jurassic World, okay? 2024, 50 latest ones, okay? So let's start by picking up the figures from level 2 Jurassic World Midlands before we head over to the mini shelf. So let's do this. Alright guys, let's enter the basement dino dungeon. The place where we all love, okay? So right here on the floor, we have over 60 dinosaurs. Instead of 50, which I have just mentioned, all of them are right here in this box. The latest figure. And guess what? Guess what? We have a brand new set to open up which contains a beta figure and blue figure. This is actually from Pop Mart. Can't wait to open this. Are you guys ready to place all the latest 60 different figures right here on the table? Let's do this. Okay guys, first let's have a look at this set right here. Jurassic World Pop Mart. This is basically a beautiful image taken from Jurassic World Dominion and it contains a blue and a beta figure. We have to open this right now. Let's see whether we are just able to just slice this open. Pretty easy I would say. Yep, you can see this is actually an official product. Pull this out. There you go. Have a look at this. Two figures. They are pretty high quality, I feel. I'm gonna put the packaging away. Let's have a look. Let's take a look at this. Looks pretty good. Very highly detailed. You can see the paint scheme is very neat. Although the scope looks kind of, kind of weird. The color scheme looks kind of weird as well, but it is very highly detailed in terms of the paint scheme. Very neat, not sloppy at all. And you're able to find a Pop Mart logo right at the bottom, which looks really good. And it comes with this little rock base, so it can definitely stand very well. Let's place it right in the middle, okay? Right in the middle. And let's have a look at Beta, which is the baby of blue. Super adorable. Okay, and blue even has the same similar blue stripe that doesn't touch its left eye. All right, let's place this one right in the middle. Very nice. So it's now time for us to take a look at 60 latest dinosaur figurines, action figures from Mattel. Yep, not just from Mattel, I guess. You know, some are from Pop Mart. I'm just gonna put the boxes away first for now. Okay. One of my favorite ones has got to be the Hammond Collection Conotaurus. I think this is one of the best, if not the best, Conotaurus figure ever. Highly detailed, you can see one, two, three points of articulation just on the neck. That's tiny little arms, but they're all movable. Super cool. I love it because it's glass eyes and it's super highly detailed. The tail is made of soft rubber, which is very, very cool. Let's place this right at the back because I think this is one of the biggest figures so far. Okay, another one. What is this? Young Chinosaurus, 12 inch basic figure. This is basically one of the latest one. Excellent figure, highly detailed. I would say all the latest 12 inch figures, they are very highly detailed, which is great. Okay, next up. Epic Attack. Tyrannosaurus Rex right here that comes with two buttons. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this before, but let's have a look at every single figure in detail. Comes with a huge button right here that lights up. Another one over here. It has a movable tail. Of course, it also has a scan code for you guys to scan in your Jurassic World Vexa. I will be showing you, you every single scan code. So, yep, that's right. And there's another button right over here that also triggers a roar. So this is an excellent T-Rex figure, that's for sure. 
All right, let's place it right at the back and let's move on to the next figure. What is this? This is a Stegosaurid, but it's not a Stegosaurus. This is basically the latest epic evolution figure. It comes with a little wheel on top. This is a Hesperosaurus right over here. I almost forgotten about its name. So I'm gonna do like try, I'm trying to make the figures look good because we need to take like a nice thumbnail image later on so we definitely need to arrange them as neatly as possible. Hesperosaurus, it comes with four spikes at the end of the tail. They are pretty soft. Let's take a look at the scan code. You can scan this in your Jurassic World Facts app. Pause the video and scan it. I think I have forgotten to show you guys the T-Rex. Did I? I think I've already done it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next, we have a huge one. The Habitat Defender Triceratops. Beautiful figure, huge figure. This is the biggest Triceratops figure ever so far from the Jurassic World line. And it also comes with a scan code. How cool is that? Pause the video and add this to your collection. Triceratops is known as the three horn face. This is the biggest Triceratops figure. I'm not too sure whether it is the best because I feel the Hammond collection seems to be the better one, but I'd love to hear from you guys as well. All right, let's move on to the next figure. This is a T-Rex from the Ambush set. Oh my goodness, my camera just fell off. Oh my goodness. Okay, yep. Hopefully you guys are fine. <laughs> I hope I didn't give you a fright. I'm not gonna cut the video because I want it, I want it to be candid as possible, as candid as possible. But check this out. This is a T-Rex from the Ambush set, okay? So it's a green T-Rex. It also comes with Dr. Ian Malcolm and a vehicle, okay? So very nice. I'm gonna put this right beside the other Tyrannosaurus Rex. It can stand very well, okay? And the Triceratops right here. Okay, next one. We have a figure which is slightly similar to the Triceratops. What is this? Regali Ceratops. And this is a Wow Raw figure. Wow Raw figure. So you can see it has a beautiful crown. Do you guys know why it is known as the Regali Ceratops, which means the royal horn face? Because it has a beautiful crown that makes it look very royal, just like a king. Okay? Where is the scan code? I think it's right here. You can pause the video and scan this in your Jurassic World Facts app. So this is a Ceratops chun, which is from the same family as the Triceratops. Next arm, we have, okay, oops, oh my goodness, what happened to this? What happened to this? This cat's a quadless. I think it has fallen apart, but it's fine. We can fix it back pretty easily, I guess. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this before. So this is basically like a little machine. Where's the head? Right here. Okay, here's the head. I think we have to fix it back. Did we fix it in the wrong way? Okay, how do we fix the head? Push it right in. And here's a little model. Snap it back. Yep. So you can actually switch this on. You can hang this to your ceiling. Okay, hang it to your ceiling. But it is loose, so it's okay. I'm not hanging it. And once you turn this on, this little propeller will actually spin and we just fly around your house if it's attached to the ceiling of your house. It's a pretty cool figure, but I'm not attaching it. So I'm just going to display it like this. Let's put this right in the middle. Okay, let's move on. This is not very, very new, but it is definitely one of the latest one. Nijasaurus. It's an armored sauropod, as you guys can see. It has plenty of bombs, 
We call this the osteoderm, which is like a skin texture of the dinosaur. It is heavily armored, so it can protect itself against other predators. Not too sure what predators actually hunted them. Okay, next up, we have another 12-inch figure. This was added to our collection a couple of weeks back, Sukumimus 12-inch figure. Doesn't have any scan code. It is closely related to the Spinosaurus, and you can see the top of his face looks like a crocodile, which is why it is known as the Crocodile Mimic. Okay, I'm going to try to balance it, make it look nice, and it's placed at the back. Okay, next up, another Triceratops. Yes, this is a Triceratops, but I feel this is like an evolved version because it has very, very develop armor you can see the entire body is covered with armor which is very different from the other triceratops and it also has retractable spikes on top of its crown that is pretty incredible and this is also from the epic evolution series there's a little wheel right here but it doesn't have any rods which is fine i actually prefer them not to have rods because i don't have to change the batteries and let's pause the video and scan this into your Jurassic World Vex app. I think there's a couple of dinosaurs which I have forgotten about their names, so I definitely need to scan them later on. Okay, this is a Megalosaurus. So previously, I actually made a mistake. I told you guys that this was the second Megalosaurus because the, there was a first one. But apparently the first one was a mega raptor so i made a mistake and i apologize for that okay this is also from the epic evolution series that comes with a little wheel super cool a theropod it has three fingers like the giganotosaurus and um i can't remember what does the name mean for a megalosaurus but if you guys know let me know down below i'm gonna put this right over here Let's move on to the next one. How about this one, guys? This is a pretty cool one. Ruthless Rampage. Ruthless Rampage Allosaurus. The latest Allosaurus that you can find out there that comes with a little wheel right here. Okay. So the wheel actually moves the neck from the bottom to the top and it also opens up the jaw. Very cool, and just check out the jaw. As per usual, the tongue is always painted in dark navy blue. It's like super dark blue. And this figure, it has retractable spikes. I wanted to say quills, but they're definitely thicker and bigger than quills. And this part of the tail is rotatable and is made of soft rubber. Very cool, highly detailed. And it also comes with a battle damage. How cool is that? I mean, oh, oops, I'm sorry, it's not a battle damage, I made a mistake. The coat is hidden in its thigh, right thigh. Very cool, I like it. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, and scan this in your Jurassic World Facts app. Oh my goodness, did I show you guys the scan code for this? Just in case, just in case I've forgotten about it. I'm getting old, I'm getting absent-minded, so... Please forgive me if I miss out some of the scan codes, okay? I'm gonna place this right at the back. Yes, I'm probably older than your parents who are watching this video right now. Yeah, probably, probably. Okay, next one. Next one. New Vanator. If I'm not wrong, it is known as the New Hunter. This is also the epic evolution figure comes with a wheel it is very similar to the triceratops the armored triceratops because it doesn't have any sounds but it has a wheel right here the wheel actually not just moves the neck it also moves both the arms which is kind of cool and guess what it has retractable i think we can all agree that these are not spikes they are more like quills so these are actually movable. Pretty cool. Very nice. I love the color scheme. It has a base 
color of turquoise, dark turquoise, which is kind of close to green. I really like it a lot. I think it is excellent. Okay, let's see where we can place this. Maybe right here. 60 figures. I'm not too sure whether we have space for them. We probably have 70 if I'm not wrong. Next up. Eric Sinatosaurus. Yep, it looks like a Contaurus. As you guys can see, it has two horns right here, which is very similar to the Contaurus right at the back. And you can see one, two, three, four, four fingers. Four fingers on each arm, which is also similar to the Contaurus. Epic evolution, beautiful wheel right here that moves the neck and also moves the jaw. I can't remember what does the name mean for the Eric Sinosaurus. So if you guys know, comment down below right now. Be the first one to tell me what does Eric Sinosaurus Eric Sinatosaurus mean, okay? I can't remember, but you guys often know better than me. You guys are wonderful. You guys are like a dino experts. You know more than me, to be honest. Okay, next R. What is this? I have to scan this because... I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna admit that I've forgotten about the name of this. I'm just going to pretend and say, do you guys know what is the name of this prehistoric animal right here? I'm pretty sure you do not know. Yeah, if you know, let me know down below and I'll let you know whether you guys know the answer. All right, okay, let's scan this, let's scan this. Oh my goodness, I have to update this. So this will take a long time, it will take a long time. So let's just wait for the app to update so just put this one right here and I'll leave you guys to think about it. What is the name of this prehistoric creature? And I'll let you guys know in a while, okay? Next, what do we have right here? Epic Attack Velociraptor. Beautiful one. Beautiful one. Let's try this again. Yep, it comes with a button that lights up and you press it. And of course, it also comes with the scan code. All right, so let's have a look. Pause the video and add this to your collection. Let's place this one right here. It's pretty small, so I'm trying to place them accordingly to their height. Okay, next up. What do we have right here? Ineosaurus. Yep, Aeneasaurus is not a new species, but this figure, it's a new color scheme. It came along with this vehicle that comes with a grappling claw to capture dinosaurs right over here. So Aeneasaurus is known as the curved nose, curved nose lizard if I'm not wrong. I can't re really remember, but I think so. And of course, here is the scan code for you to scan in your Jurassic World Facts app. Okay, let's place this one right over here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay. We have two tiny little figures. This one is a Stegosaurus. All right. It sounds like a Stegosaurus, but it's actually more closely related to an Ankylosaurus. And here is the scan code. A beautiful little figure. I think these two came together. I'm not too sure. I can't remember, but I think so. Okay. Have a look at this. And this, it's an eel raptor. A very tiny little figure with no sounds, but very, very beautifully done. I like it a lot. You can see the scan code is actually as big as his body. Okay. So it's time for us to scan this mysterious creature that looks like a modern day crocodile. So did you guys manage to guess the name right? Let's scan this. Let's scan this. Let me review the ants. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take a long time. So let's just wait for it to load. Okay, let's move on to the next figure. What is this guys? Is this an Ankylosaurus? I think it's closely related to an Ankylosaurus. It is known as a Boreallo Peltar. Beautiful and color solid. And here is the scan code. In any case, if I get any of the 
name wrong, the classification wrong, do comment down below, okay? So what do we have right here? Caprosuchus. Yeah, there's a Caprosuchus. I know that you guys may not know, but hopefully you got the answer right. Caprosuchus right over here. You can turn this into night mode, which is kind of cool. Then you can just tap on it. Tap on it to have a clearer look by using the flare. Very nice, I love it. Okay, what about this one? Posture Sucrus. Posture Sucrus. What is this series called? This on the Savage Strike. Um, strike Attack, I think. Yep, and here's a scan code. For you to add to your Jurassic World Facts app. Okay. Do you guys have every single figure in a Jurassic World Facts app? Let me know down below. Okay. A new species, Everceratops. Beautiful figure, guys. Very, very beautiful. Check this out. It has two horns. Different from the Triceratops. I can't remember what does the name mean. So if you know, make a comment down below. All right, Everceratops. So this is part of the Ceratopsian family. Very nice. Next up, what is this? Is this a Trajangosaurus? Are you guys able to guess it? Is this a Stegosaurus? Nope, it is not a Stegosaurus. You can scan this in your Jurassic OFX app. Okay, this is a new series from the Epic Evolution as well. You press both legs down like this, the tail will actually swing. So let's scan this in the Jurassic OFX app to review its name. Did you guys get it right? Is this a Trajangosaurus? Is this a you know, Kandrosaurus. I mean, Kandrosaurus is very obvious. It has two spikes on both sides of the shoulder. So what did you guys guess? What is this? This is a Trajangosaurus, Chilingosaurus. Yep, you are right. It is a Trajangosaurus, which was a Stegosaurus discovered in China. Yeah, Trajango is like Tojang lizard. Tojang is like a city or province in China. Next art, we have one right here, and its name actually, you know, it's kind of weird. It is known as the Gigant Spinosaurus. I don't know why it even has a name which is like Spinosaurus in it. It's just really weird. Yeah, you can actually move the tail, and the head will actually move. And here's a scan code for you guys to scan in your Jurassic World Facts app. Alright. Put this one right here. Let's move on to the next one. What is this? Poposaurus. If I'm not wrong, let's scan this in the Facts app. I may have made a mistake. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Let's see whether we are able to scan it. Is this a Poposaurus? It looks like a Baryonyx to me. But many of you guys actually told me it is not exactly a dinosaur. It is more like a prehistoric animal. So if you know, if you know, comment down below. That would be cool. Okay. Let's move the camera slightly backwards so that you can see what I am placing in front. Not done yet. We still have plenty to go. Okay. What is this, guys? What is this? What is this prehistoric flying reptile? Make a guess. Make a guess. I think it starts with. T, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's scan this. I think this one is a little bit hard to scan. A little bit hard to scan. Oh, there you go. What is this actually? This is also one of the latest species of the flying reptiles. So you can place this right in the middle. Ornithochirus. Oh my goodness, I made a mistake. Yeah, to be honest. I totally forgotten about its name, which is why I'm ask, asking you, do you guys remember? If you guys remember it and I forgotten about it, I tell you what, you are better than me. Majority of you guys are watching this video right now, knows more dinosaurs than me. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay, what is this? The Zuni horn face. Zuni ceratops. There are actually two Zuni Ceratops in Jurassic World so far. There was a green version 
And this is the latest version, Strike Attack, a beautiful figure like this. You should probably place this one right here together with the other set options. And this one over here. This is a tiny little baby, so let's put it in front. Okay, what is this? What is this? It looks like a Masiya Kasaurus, to be honest. It really looks like one. Let's get a coat out. Scan it. Make a guess. What dinosaur is this? It is definitely a carnivorous dinosaur. You can see sharp claws, sharp teeth, bipedal, strong balance with his tail, extremely fearsome looking. Okay, it's loading extremely slowly because you guys know that in the basement dino dungeon, the connection is not very good. So you have to be patient. Guaibasaurus, yeah. To be honest, I have forgotten about the name, the name of this dinosaur, Guaibasaurus. So, it sounds like it was discovered in, yeah, North, I mean, South America, yeah. Guaibasaurus, I think it was discovered in Mexico, if I'm, I'm not too sure, I think so. Okay, next. Another pretty cool figure, Elasmosaurus. Sorry, Plesiosaurus. Why do I say Elasmosaurus? There are actually four of them right now. This is basically the latest one with a new color scheme. Pause the video, you can scan this to your Jurassic World Facts app. I'm gonna place this right over here. Very beautiful figure. There are way too many Velociraptors, so I only brought one. This is one of it. Okay, you can scan this in your Jurassic World Effects app. Beautiful. Okay guys, now it's time for us to take a look at the minifigures. We have a pile of minifigures right over there guys. Okay, so what we are going to do, we should probably move this away because I want to place the minifigures in the middle. In the middle. Okay, so let's try. Let's arrange them neatly, as neatly as possible. So this little space, it's for the minifigures. You're gonna place all of them in. Okay, let's begin with this, which is a rare version. This is a pyroraptor. And I think this is like a snow pyroraptor, basically living in the colder temperature. Similar to this, Cantrosaurus, a metallic Cantrosaurus, you can see. The top of the plates are coated with shiny paint. Very nice. I like this a lot. Let's place them right here. This one as well, which is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is a rare version. Metallic paint as well. Oops. Oh, it can't stand. So what I do is that I lean it against its tail. Yeah, you have to adjust the tail in the wrong direction and you balance it. Otherwise, it can't really stand. Okay, I brought another one. Oops, where's the head? <laughs> the headless can't just start. There you go. Now you look better. Next. We have the color-changing Pyroraptor. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this before. My previous review, if you drop this into hot water versus cold water, it would actually change. So for each figure, there are three different colors. This is a neutral room temperature color. If you drop it into hot water, it will become lighter in color. If you drop it into cold water, it will become dark purple. It is very incredible. You should check out one of my previous video. I'll probably put a link down below. They can stand. Some of them can stand, which is kind of annoying. Next, another color changing Trisad hops. If you drop it into hot water, it becomes white. If you drop it into cold water, it becomes dark green. This it's same goes on. Um, this is not a this is not a color changing. This is just a Dino Trekkers 
Endor Raptor. Green variation. Beautiful color. I love it. Color changing Conotaurus right here. If you drop it into warm water, I think it becomes white. If you drop it into cold water, um, I, it becomes very dark brown. It's another one. Color changing Cantrosaurus. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with Cantrosaurus? They love to remove their own head. Okay. Atrociraptor. Color changing. I can't really remember what color they actually change it to. Giga. Giganotosaurus. Some of, I think many of you guys have been correcting my pronunciation for Giga. Is it Giga or Giga? Giga. Giganotosaurus. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. It's definitely not Giga. It's either Giga, Giga, Giganotosaurus or Giganotosaurus. Giga. It should be Giga. Giga. Monolophosaurus. From the Dino Tracker series. Beautiful little figure. Dimetrodon. Yeah, this is kind of rare. I like it a, a lot. Parasaurolophus. Not a color changing, that's for sure. Another Molodophosaurus. <laughs> we have two of them. They're pretty rare. I had a hard time finding them. Indominus Rex. You can see this color scheme is entirely different from the previous one, which is just white in color. And what do we have right here? Giganotosaurus right here. Color changing effect. Beautiful. I love the color changing, but it's kind of... It's kind of troublesome. I mean, it's really fun to be honest. Really, really fun. Color changing Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think kids will actually love them to bits. Uh, where did I get them? I actually got them from a friend uh, who helped me bought them in China. Yeah, it was really, really hard to find. I don't think they are, you know, the thing about captive collection is that they are so difficult to find. Not a lot of countries are carrying them. They're not doing like a good distribution work, that's for sure. Cats are quadless. Therizinosaurus, this one looks absolutely amazing. It's actually in a different pose to the previous Therizinosaurus. Mosasaurus, color changing, beautiful figure. The Lophosaurus, color changing as well. Can it stand? If it can stand, okay, if it keeps falling forward like this, so what I do is that I move the tail like this to, to form like a tripod and just lean it against his back. You have to try narrow to see which position works the most, works the best. Now Pseudoceratops, rare version, I see now Pseudoceratops. Color changing in Dominus Rex. This one's really, really cool. Yeah, this one you definitely have to try it out. That's for sure. Indoor Raptor color changing one, which is kind of cool as well. And the Lophosaurus right over here. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so these are basically. The latest figure. Oh, there are still three more, which I've forgotten to show you guys. They're right here. These are the latest fierce changes. You can see this is a Ceratosaurus. Let's take a peep. Okay, from the bottom, you should be able to guess what dinosaur it can actually transform into. It transformed into an Ankylosaurus. Very nice. Just gonna place, put this one right here. Yep, this one is the latest one. Indominus Rex and transform into a Cantrosaurus, I think. I think. Cantrosaurus. Yeah. I don't think it's a. Yeah, you can see there's two spikes. It's supposed to simulate the both spikes and uh, on the both shoulders. And right here with the Conotaurus, it's a different color scheme. Previously, they have already released one Conotaurus, but this is the latest new one. 
and um, it transformed into a Stegosaurus. It's pretty cool. I like this color scheme. Yeah, I feel we should have Carnotaurus which are different in color, not just red. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting bored seeing red Carnotaurus. Hopefully, we're able to get a green one, a green one like this. That would be super cool. And yeah, check this out, Dimorphodon. Okay, so yeah, so these are the latest figures. 60 latest figures, I think probably there are more than 60 right here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, yeah, very cool. And um, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.